Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 55th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to learn to add and remove users using the GUI tools. Now, adding and removing users can be done through the terminal as well using the user add and the user del commands respectively. But I guess it's always best to use the GUI options that you have because uh, you're always aware of what you're doing, right? So I'll go to system first. And then in administration, I'll find the option users and groups. Now I'll click on that and Ubuntu will display to me all the user accounts that are currently there on the system. And this is my account and this is an account that I created a few days ago. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to delete this account by clicking on the delete option here. And when I click on it, I'm asked for my password. So I'll type in my password and then uh, press the enter key to authenticate. And then I get this option whether I want to keep the files that were created by the new user and were saved in the home directory of the new user or if I don't want to remove the account that's the second option and uh, the third option is whether I want to delete the files or not so of course I want to delete the files and I'll click on delete files and uh, there you see that the user is no longer listed in the list right and and it's actually pretty simple to add a new user to the system you have to click on add and then you have to provide your password to authenticate and then you have to type in the name of the user and I'll just type in uh, new user 2 okay and the username is automatically generated for me and you can change the username as well if you want but I'll just let it be and then you have to click on OK right and then you're asked for a password and uh, I'll type in a password all right now I'll click on OK and there you go you see that the user account is uh, displayed in the list. So now if you want to log in through the new account that you created then you've got plenty of options. You can go to the switch user option or you can select the user directly from the list that you see here or you can do it using the terminal as well and uh, that's what we're going to check out. I have two terminal windows here. In the first window I have logged in myself and uh, when I execute the who command here then you see that I get myself listed with two terminal windows right because two terminals are currently active and uh, what I'll do in the second window is I'll uh, type in the command let me bring it up properly first I'll type in the command sudo login and that's because I'll have to be the super user to execute the login command and when I press the enter key I'm asked for my password I'll type in my password and press the enter key again and then I'm asked for the user name with which I wish to log in and uh, I'll type in new user 2 and press the enter key and then I'll have to type in the password for the account and I'll type in the password and when I press the enter key you see that I get a new prompt now and uh, this one says that the user that has logged in is new user 2 and of course it's at the system Ubuntu right and let me clear the screen and now when I execute the who command then you would see that with one terminal window I have logged in myself and this is this terminal window right and here you can see that the prompt says mother at Ubuntu whereas in this terminal we see new user at Ubuntu and uh, the users have obviously different terminals. In the next tutorial we'll build a script that uses multiple user accounts and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel.